<laughs> okay, here Tom is in the house. Good luck. Right, good to see you. event in the city of California. To get started, I want to uh, thank the following for their participation in this great event. Here, David Duran of the city of California. The 2011 St. Baldrick State Committee, which includes, among others, Tim Martin, Nick Tuff, Jennifer Young, Mark Farmgarner Sr., Kelly Miller, Heather Martin, Bob Zott, uh, lead stylist Dan Bernices. We want to thank we want to thank all the stylists for coming out today. We've got a bunch of sponsors here: uh, Hair Cutlery, Sheer Attitude, Sheer Magic. You've got the look: Panache, Venice, Mirror Image, Larry's Barbershop, Sailor's Barbershop. Larry's not here. Uh, John. Uh, Jory Davis, Rita Fuller, Robert Balicki, Leanne Eisen. There's there's more than I can mention. But thanks for coming. Uh, I'm going to introduce it now. This time, Mayor Uran, he's going to give us some, uh, some totals on the, uh, the St. Baldrick's event. Well, first of all, happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Thanks for being out here. The lot of the city of Wild Points. Home of the only nighttime parade in the state of Indiana. Well, we're here today for the, for the right reasons, because we're raising money for St. Baldrick's to help kids who fight, uh, who fight that battle with cancer. And sometimes the kids go through some experiences where they lose some hair, and they feel like they're behind and, and there's nobody there to support them besides the family. But you can tell right now, based on the people in this building today, there's a lot of people that support those kids. So let's give everybody a round of applause for being here. A, a few weeks ago, a simple Facebook message to my, my good friend Eric Tom McDermott, Jr. Uh, Jr. from Hammond, and we're very competitive in, in what we do. And, uh, and I said, hey, Tom, you're setting up for this, I'm setting up for this. What if we just uh, have a little spirited competition to see if we can raise more money? And then Mayor Sonnequist saw that, because we're friends on Facebook, was, what about me? And Tom put it in great perspective this morning when he was interviewed by the Times. By us having us three having our head shaved, all seven Lake County Democratic mayors will all be bald. <laughs> us by, by choice. <laughs> but with all that being said, unless Tom brought some additional funding here today, with them. Tom, did you? It's 4 o'clock, Tom. <laughs> the last one we had for uh, Team Hammond, and he's called Mayor of Equality, and he created it himself. You had $4,715. <laughs> Quest brought in $2,706. That because Keith got involved probably about 10 days after we got involved, so he probably really went really good and really came out strong. But I am proud to say, Tom, the city of Crown Point has responded. And online, and what I have in this envelope here today, we exceeded $5,286. the other way. He was feeling a little insecure, so this is my tribute to Tom, because him losing his hair is probably worth more to him than his name. And, uh, we'll, but uh, we'll, we'll just keep going. But uh, I'm not going to take all the time up here. I am going to pass the mics on to the mayors real quick, because I want them to give their uh, opportunity to speak about this event, what it means for them. And it's really great to see Northwest Indiana show up here in the city of Crown Point and combine for one reason, and help the kids who are battling cancer. So, Tom? Thank you, Mayor. Congratulations, City of Crown Point. I'd like to take a look at the totals, actually, guys. I know there's a billionaire that lives here, and I have a feeling he got involved. That's all I want to say. <laughs> anyway, it's for a great cause. Uh, I tell you, St. Baldrick's is a wonderful cause. Anytime you can help fund cancer, prevent cancer for children, it's a wonderful thing. Uh, if we could shave our heads and draw more attention to this horrible disease and try to fight this horrible disease, I know all the mayors are willing to do it. So congratulations to everybody. And, uh, I don't know, I need some tips, so if you guys could give me some tips on how to maintain over the next few days, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you all. Let's give Mayor Tom a round of applause. <laughs> Mayor Keith Sound across from Lake Station. Thank you. First of all, what a great cause. All of us know somebody in our lives, families, friends that has passed away or dealing with cancer, 
and it's something in Northwest Indiana that's a very large issue. So uh, to, for us to use our position to raise funds, I think it's awesome. And it's awesome to be part of. And congratulations, Crown Point, for leading the, the way. Thank you. Thanks, man. Where's, uh, where's Tim Martin? Tim, come on up. Now, this is unbelievable. Here's a guy that took it to another level and dyed his hair to be one of the tallest leprechauns we know. Here we go. Um, I'd like to just thank everybody. This is unbelievable, the amount of people that have uh, responded to this. Um, all the city employees, the mayors of the different cities. Uh, just, let's start shaking some heads. <laughs> there you go. That's unbelievable. So, sit back, enjoy, and uh, front row, I know it's a great uh, view here, but be careful of the hair. Really? <laughs> Come on, nice photo ops up here. Come on, get your pictures. Just be careful, I don't know. Like, it's very hard. So, we're going to go from McDermott, from McDermott, the McBall, the McShine. It's going to look nice. Once I get a tan. Have a seat. It's going to be straight down the middle, a little side cut. Remember what you're going to do? Since 2000, more than $91.8 million has been raised for childhood cancer research. Last year, St. Baldrick's volunteers were Well, there you go. We raised over $5,000 for childhood cancer prevention and research. And so if you see me sporting a new haircut around town, you know what it's all about. Thanks for being with us.